Hi, welcome back to another episode of Fishing Cornwall. Today we're going to be having a look at some of pollock lures and when is the best time to use them. Right, so starting off, we have plugs. And then we have some sandy imitations. And then some jelly worms and some shads. And then we have some parks and tobies in a different array of colours. And probably one of the best lures is a fish black minnow. Right, so starting off with the plugs. Plugs like this, you want to be fishing them when it's clear. This one's probably getting on a bit too big. Uh, probably best for bass. The reason why you want to fish these when it's clear is because they're one of the closest imitations you can probably get to sand gills and they'll flash in the sunlight. Now these ones you probably want to fish probably like in estuaries because it's a bit more murky and then when it's a bit rough. The reason why because they've got a bright belly and they're bright colours so they'll show up when they wobble in the water and the fish will be able to see them. And they come in a different array of sizes. And then this one is good when the pollock are taking joey mackerel, which is a baby mackerel. And the reason why is because it's a close imitation to them. And that one's good when they're taking mackerel in murky water because it's got that bright belly. So because pollock, on, they sit on the bottom, they'll see that bright colour and because they'll come up and attack it from underneath. And that one's good as well because it's nice and white and that'll show up. Right, so next, going on to shads. Shads are good. They're good for fishing in deep water. Um, you can rig shad, you can rig these a couple of ways. First, you can rig them on a jig head. Or you can Texas rig them. And that means you can fish them weedless. Now, to, sh to Texas rig a lure, what you want to do is get a Texas hook, then you want to line it up with the lure, and where it comes out, you want to put the hook through. So, there, comes out just after the gill. So you want to go through it, and come out, and then take the hook through. Before you get to there, you want as you pull it, you want to roll it. And it'll should just the hook I should just pop in. And then where the hook comes up, you want to cut a little slit in the belly. Some lures already have this, some don't, but a little slit in the belly. And then with the hook. You want to find where it goes up, so that it goes there. So I want to mark it with my fingers. Go through the slit of the belly. And then pop it at the top, like that. And then, the hook point is in the actual bait. So you can fish that through weed and rock and it won't get caught when the fish comes up and bites you can bite then the hook will pop out and then you'll hook the fish so they're quite good as well if you're fishing in rocky places uh, you can another good lure is jelly worms they're very good off the boat and they're very good off the shore you can boat you can fish these with a jig head and again with a texas rig uh, they come in different sizes and colours. They go from about this sort of size to up to like that for boats. Right, the next lure is parks and tobies. Parks and tobies, probably one of the most well known lures for pollock. They're good if you're fishing in deep water and they've got a good shine of colour in them. And they come in different colours, and these ones are mackerel ones, and then the clear water ones and dirty water ones. And some of them have what we call a rooster tail, 
which is a bit of sparkle on the treble hook. Um, I like to use fairly cheap ones because to get down to Pollock, you've got to be fishing in the rock and the kelp and the weed and you don't want to be spending a load of money on lures and just losing them. So you can get like these ones. I think I paid something like 90p for them. And these ones, you if you can get them really cheap off eBay. And you want to look, you don't want to buy big brand name stuff. So like I got some of those here, Toby make. This is a Toby one, this cost me about a pound. And these ones, they Toby make these ones, but these are made by a different company. And these are about 90p. And if to buy them from the actual company that makes them, it'll probably end up being more. But the only problem with these is, is if you've got a bag on, because they're made of metal, they're quite heavy to be carrying around. But they're probably one of the best lures as well. Now on to sand deals. Sand deals are very good and they're very cheap as well. Um, you've got different colour and sizes of sand deals. To hook sand deal, you want to get a long shank hook and you want to thread your line down through the hook, come out down through the fish. And there's a little hole here and the line will come out and then you just want to tie your line onto your hook, pull the line tight, push the hook up into the hole, pull the line and that will pull the hook in like that. And then you can fish them like that. Some of them, now these are drop shot lures, these are made by Savage Gear and they have got a really really good action especially on a drop shot and you can also fish these Texas rigged and you can put a um, you can fish these on a wacky rig and they're good as well and also they come in the different sizes and colours now with these ones I fish these on a the fly rod and they're good as well because they're, they're not heavy, they're not too heavy to cast and this one, this is a proper red girl and this one is a UV one glows in the dark and that's good when it's just going to dusk if you fish which is a prime time for pollock prime time for pollock is dusk and early morning but and these are cheap as well but the most expensive ones to use are plugs but plugs sometimes can be the best layer of all and then another layer is a shad this is fish same as this one but Got, it's more heavy and it's got brighter colours. This is more for deep water if you know there's big pollock around or if you're off a boat fishing, they're good. And these have got a good tail and these are as cheap as chips. And what I think is the best there is the fish black minnow. These are really good lies, they have really good action and they're weedless. They sink like a bullet, they cast like a bullet. But there's only one problem, if you've got wrasse around because they've got a soft body, the wrasse tend to pull off the tails, at, but these are quite expensive. But if you're starting off, I'd probably fish with sand eels and parks. And then when you start getting into it more, you can spend a little bit more money and use one of these and you'll tend to get the bigger pollock on it. Right, thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe.